here we go. Now in the cage, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the middleweight division. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Rafael Davis. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing blue trunks to rim in white. He is hailing out of Los Angeles, California. He weighed in 171 pounds. Tonight, he is making his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Francisco Rodriguez. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks to rim in white. He is training out of Black House MMA in Gardena by way of Phoenix, Arizona. He weighed in 184 pounds. Tonight, he is making his camo debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tristan Too Tough is out. All right, fans, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts in the middleweight division. Last fight of the night, Francisco Rodriguez up against Tristan Ezel. Rodriguez in the blue trunks, Ezel in the black. Gonna send us out with a bang. Touch gloves. Both fighters in that orthodox stance. Absolutely. Rodriguez in the MMA Elite shorts. I've got a pair of those. Those almost look like basketball style shorts. Absolutely. Hey, Chuck Liddell endorsed them back in 2007, <laughs> so they're cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tristan, oh, Tristan Ezel. Oh, showing that uh, Francisco's cast. already hurt. He didn't like that right hand. No, not at all. He's got his chin up in the air. He's got to be careful not to get clipped here. And Rodriguez has to punch up for Ezel. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, Ezel! Oh, he almost dropped landed. Him, on, almost dropped him on his head. Almost landed right on his head. Ezel now going to take his time and look for that arm. Looks like he's looking to peel that wrist off his neck. Absolutely. He's going to look for a straight arm lock or, or potentially a, a, a key lock. He's looking for that Americana now. Using that. Ooh. The hammer fist here to soften him up. Absolutely. Right here in front of us. You can hear the evil intentions of that hammer fist from Ezel. He's got the Americana locked up. Referee should get in position here because... He needs to pull the elbow towards the hip of Rodriguez. He's going to switch off now. Rodriguez perhaps too fresh and too strong for that hold this early in the fight. Absolutely. But it's interesting to see if, uh, if Rodriguez can oh, make oh. his way back to this field. Oh, and that's he does. it. And a knockout. Knockout. Big right hand from Ezel. Absolutely. He knew he knew that if he let him up, he could score a, he could score a KO. That's why he let him up. I mean, that was almost a Babe Ruth style knockout. Yeah, I saw that early on. His striking was way sharper than Rodriguez. Absolutely. And um, He, he just decided to let him up. Didn't want to deal with the ground anymore. Decided to let him up off the ground. He wanted that home run shot. He wanted that highlight. Tristan Ezel, as advertised, at a black house, coming with that smoke. Big That's right hand. The showstopper. Ooh, in every instance. Bit of a mismatch. But Ezel put it on him. He wasn't overlooking Rodriguez at all. He brought his A game tonight, and it proved positive with that knockout victory. Yeah, he took his time. I mean, he, I think he felt on the feet that he had the advantage, but then they ended up in a clinch, naturally, and uh, decided to take him down. and. Then just didn't feel like dealing with the ground anymore. No. Ladies and gentlemen, at 43 seconds of round number one, referee in charge, Rafael Davis, stops the contest. Our winner, by way of knockout, Tristan Tutov Ezel.
That's going to do it here for us at Sparstar44. Thank you, everybody at Fight Hub TV. Still 135 of you logged in. I'm watching the chat. Appreciate your support. Kevin Widows here live with my co-commentator, Adam Woods. Stepping up.